please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Certainly. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set a table name as a variable and insert variables into an SQLite table in Python. This can be useful when you need to dynamically create and interact with tables based on user input or other runtime conditions. We will use the Sklite 3 library, which is included in Python standard library, to work with SQLite databases. Prerequisites Before you start, make sure you have the Sklite 3 library installed. You can install it using pip if you don't have it already. Step 1, create an SQLite database and connect. First, you need to create an SQLite database and connect to it. You can use the sklite3.connect method to create or connect to a database file. Replace your underscore database underscore name dot db with your desired database name. Step 2, create a cursor object. To execute SQL commands, you need to create a cursor object. This cursor will allow you to interact with the database. Step 3, define the table name as a variable. You can set the table name as a variable to make it dynamic. For example, let's create a table named based on user input. Step 4, create the table. Now, create a table with dynamic table name and structure. In this example, we will create a simple table with two columns, ID, and name. Step 5, insert data into the table. You can insert data into the table using variables. Here's an example of inserting data into the table based on user input. Step 6, close the database connection. Don't forget to close the database connection when you're done. This tutorial demonstrates how to set a table name as a variable and insert data into an SQLite table dynamically. You can extend and modify this example to suit your specific use case and application requirements. ChatGPT